All right, we are back. So, hello everyone, Trix here, and welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. Today we are going to get started with the next stage in this game. It's going to be World 5 already. Yeah, this game is going by quickly, even though it's already part 24, but still. <laughs> We're going to take in Donkey Kong himself, of course, and try to actually do things in the proper order this time around. Remember, there is a chunky pet over here, so the moment we meet Cranky and get a new move from him, <laughs> we need to return here. But in order to actually meet Cranky for new moves, we need to enter New Worlds! Time for the usual cutscene first. Time to see what those furry freaks are up to! Huh? Not a Kong in sight? Where are they? Oh, I hear one. <laughs> Lenky! W who was that? <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> Yahoo! Come up here and get me, dummies! How are you able to actually walk on the walls, Lenky? <laughs> Even you should be able to do that! <laughs> you! Get up there after him! But I can't climb! Then you'll learn, won't you? <laughs> Goodbye! Oh yeah, of course, gravity does apply to you. It does not apply to me. <laughs> I'm surrounded by fools! <laughs> well, I think Lenky is the fool. He's the one who's actually uh, defying gravity. <laughs> but time to get serious again. Fun Guy Forest is going to be stage number five. We're going to start with Donkey Kong. And not with Chunky Kong, like last time. <laughs> There's one important gimmick in the stage. That one's actually situated right in the middle over here. There's a giant pendulum floating around here. But more on that later, the moment we actually use it. But just remember, there is a clock here. First thing you're going to want to do is actually activate all of the banana ports up here. There's four of them. And then we want to um, start our adventure at the purple tunnel. And that's going to lead us to the mushroom area. Similar to uh, most of the other stages. Um, before I finish that sentence... <laughs> Revenge is mine. <laughs> okay, where were we? Like I said, similar to every other stage we've played so far. The stage is of course going to be uh, divided in several rooms. And I think this one is the um, most appropriate one to start. Uh, we are not here for the mushroom itself quite yet. That's something I'm going to say for later. There's a couple of other things we need first. There's an important reason why we want to go here first. And this is where Cranky's lab is actually located in this world. Because of this being a new world, unlike World 4, because that one actually unlocked at the same time as 3, <laughs> this time we actually have a new move to learn. So that is something we are going to do first. Oh, yeah, of course, he's going to start his dialogue with the uh, jetpack game first every single time. That's going to be annoying. <laughs> but you can still buy moves after that. And the next move is going to be the Super Simeon Slam. An upgrade to an old move. Are you listening to me, Donkey? You and the rest of the Manji Kongs can now slam the blue switches. Hey, remember that blue switch that we uh, found in the lobby of World 4? Now we have a way to actually hit it. <laughs> Indeed, an upgraded Simeon Slam was needed for that. And of course, also already used in this world, so make sure you get it as early as possible. <laughs> now let's go finish off the rest of the um, outside area of this place. Before returning here later. And for Donkey, I think there's nothing else to do. There is a banana bunch of banana port 5, but that's everything, I think. Other than uh, actually gathering a few things. Yeah, this place is also locked. can also activate it, of course. The other port we are not able to reach quite yet. But at least we have this one already. Okay, let's return to the main room. So I don't get stuck in a pole. <laughs> Banana port number three is a perfect um, way to get back to the main room. And next, I'd like to go towards the mill area. However, do I need to... This area up here, we can actually use the stage's gimmick in order to change a couple of things in the stage. But it looks like... I don't have to do that quite yet. I want it to 
Stay it the way it is right now. <laughs> so let's immediately go in here. Gather the trail of bananas here. Putting DK up to 15. Killing this guy, of course. <laughs> um, let's go... Into the mill itself. I think that's the best place to start. You can also activate banana port number one over there. Okay, keep this in mind. Lanky pad over here. And banana port number one. But first Donkey Kong is going to take care of this place. What do we have in here? There's a locked gate with a banana balloon behind it. There's also a question mark box over there. Let's see if we can actually crack that open. Super Simeon Slam! <laughs> There's a banana bunch and a blue switch. Yeah, I did tell you to actually get that move as quickly as possible. <laughs> and that will open up the gate we just saw. There's a couple of gorilla grab switches behind it. First balloon time. It's also a quick little fella. Shoot! Come on! Next, we of course want to take care of uh, these switches over here. There is a certain code that we actually need to input in order to activate the machinery in here. The code we can actually find in the adjacent room. However, I of course already know it from my uh, memory. <laughs> so I'm already going to input it, but uh, don't worry, I will actually point out where you can find this code. What we want to input is two, and then one, and then one again. It's a bit unfortunate this takes a while. <laughs> because of the animation having to play every single time. <laughs> Next up was three. And then finish off with two. Two, one, one, three, two. It seems that that was correct. The conveyor belt will start going. The golden banana that was up there will start moving. And then... It will appear outside of the mill. However, inside of a cage with a moon on it. <laughs> Can you guess what that means? I did explain about the uh, stage gimmick already. I just did not say what it was. <laughs> but I think you can already guess what that is going to be. We've seen several games already in the past making use of this concept. Here in Donkey Kong 64, this concept was also used in this stage. Now it is finally time to show it off. <laughs> because in order to obtain that golden banana, we do in fact need it. Let's go climb the pendulum. It's a fun way to do so. <laughs> and up here we can actually find two switches. A sun switch and a moon switch. There's also a couple of banana coins behind this building, if I can remember. And hey, they also appear to be yellow. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> As if I did not know that. <laughs> but anyway, let's go hit the moon switch. That will, of course, do the obvious. It will turn the stage into nighttime. Midnight has come. And the forest is now in the dark. And that will actually change up a couple of things in the stage. First one that we're going to face is immediately going to give us our first golden banana. Because you can guess, the cage that was covering the golden banana that... Um, came out of the sawmill is now going to be gone. <laughs> However, the other way around, it of course also happens. There's now also some gates making certain rooms inaccessible during night time. It goes both ways, of course. <laughs> but at least the gold banana we can get. We don't have to go in there anymore. Donkey Kong was done in there. But during night time, we pick up the golden banana. Now that's going to be number one in the entire stage. Next, there's going to be another shack at the... Um, thorny area, I will call it. Enemies will of course also change in uh, night time. You don't have mushrooms anymore, but uh, skeleton kremlings. <laughs> also nice. Second check over here. Um, first we want to go grab ourselves an invincibility barrel. Which we can find right over here. We need to go use this in order to... Ouch. <laughs> I need invisibility for the enemies as well, it looks like. <laughs> I 
but we need to pick this up in order to go behind the shack and actually be able to get into these thorns and hit the switch that's back here. And that will open up the door. Of course it will. <laughs> you can also use the invincibility barrel to get yourself up the thorns up here. But there's nothing but uh, crystal coconuts to get there, so I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> we are going to check out this room. Of course, also a golden banana for Donkey Kong to get in here. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> um, let's check behind here. There's going to be a box here. Open sesame. Banana bunch and a regular DK switch. Of course, these we can still activate. It's not like uh, because of our upgraded move, the old switches don't work anymore. <laughs> let's quickly get ourselves up there. And enter the bones barrel. Jump! Swing! Don't take any risks. Thank you. What do we need to do? Oh, awesome! Minecart Mayhem again! One of my favorite mini games to play. <laughs> oh, unlike last time, this time we have two TNT barrels that actually chase us around the track. But this time around, we need to be extra careful. Remember the trick that I actually pointed out last time? Just lure these guys into going into your real section. And then every single time, be one step ahead of them. Although I do need to speed up for this one, it looks like. <laughs> Second one is already almost at the intersection. <laughs> Just make sure to take it slowly. So you can get these guys into sync as much as possible as you. So every single time you meet an intersection, you can quickly go to the other track. And therefore making sure that they are not able to get you. As you can clearly see, this way they will also um, always group together. This way we can easily uh, group them together, so uh, they basically function as only one TNT barrel. <laughs> and making it super easy. Even though this looks like to be one of the more difficult minigames to do, if you know how to handle it, it's in fact one of the easiest ones to do. <laughs> you just need to know the trick. And that is Golden Banana number two for Donkey Kong. Right, that was everything in here. But seriously, <laughs> your club is so big, you're just stopping me from walking just by holding your club and nothing more. <laughs> Weird enemy. Small little crocodile and a very big club. <laughs> but let's get back to serious business. Where do we need to go next? Uh, the blueprint is up next, looks like. That's going to be behind the thorny maze over here. I don't believe it's going to be behind the gate. There's also an area here that's going to be closed off during the daytime, but um, in this case that does not matter. He's in front of that gate. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, awesome. Blueprint number one. And technically, therefore, golden banana number three. <laughs> but of course, we're not going to receive the banana quite yet for that. Ouch, by the way. <laughs> Before leaving here, there's one more building that we need to check out. And this one's going to be right over there. And that's going to be the shack that is not surrounded by thorny uh, hedges. <laughs> that's how you can keep them apart. Donkey Kong's not going to enter this place, because for him there's nothing to do. However, we can actually go behind it and get something else. Namely, Banana Balloon. Diddy is going to be the one to enter in here. The banana trail leading upward over there was already an indication, I think. <laughs> Actually, entering in here is going to be Diddy's business. So, Donkey Kong's already going to be done in this area. And I think it's time for us to go up to the mushroom. Let's go check out if we need to change the time of day. Yeah, it looks like we want it to be daytime. Um, oh yeah, I can also point this out. There's also a cannon in this area. And that will actually also shoot you up to the time switches. If you uh, don't feel like climbing the pendulum. Of course, this way is way faster. So <laughs> I could actually suggest to use this method. Daytime has come again.
there's going to be one sneaky gate that's going to block us if we go there at night time, so... We indeed want it to be daytime over there. Right. Nothing holding us back anymore. Let's go in. Probably my favorite area in this stage. The inside of the mushroom. It's very interesting to climb this thing. Which you need to do multiple times, of course. <laughs> it's going to be stuff for a lot of Kongs up here. The trail leading upward is going to be for Chunky. Um, I want to go this way. Ladders over here. Um, we need to find the first exit out of here. And it looks like to be over there. Now here we can find continuation for Donkey Kong. A lot of his bananas are going to be here. And also his pet. And that is of course what we are after next. <laughs> it's going to be golden banana number four for him. Oh, there's also a splat over here. Uh, that one's going to be for Tiny. It has purple hair, so... Man, this guy is big. <laughs> Poor Tiny. <laughs> I want to go up here. Because we are playing as Donkey Kong, we of course want to play a barrel course. <laughs> what is a new world without a new barrel course to do? Of course, Fungi Forest also has one. Let's go see how difficult this one is going to be. This one does remind me of Donkey Kong Country 2 uh, a whole lot for some reason. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> Mostly because of the brambles, of course. A barrel blasting course through the brambles. It uh, gives me bramble blast vibes all over me. <laughs> they should be playing Sticker Brush Symphony at the background here <laughs> to make it even more uh, like bramble blast. <laughs> also need to make sure not to miss the banana bunch up here. Metal, thank you. Use the banana bunch in order to see when you need to shoot. Okay, still not there yet. This one is a long one. <laughs> not per se difficult like some of the others were, but um, this one is going to be very long. Also not a whole lot of split pathways. But at least the route is easy. And yeah, that was good enough. Through the ring! And into the barrel. <laughs> and there we are, finally. Bonus barrel has been reached. <laughs> then we need to play some Peril stage. Path Panic. I might actually try to um, go for a perfect score yet again. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the first one was already eaten. <laughs> well, at least I don't have to worry about the perfect score a whole lot uh, today. <laughs> That ended quite quickly. But beating the minigame is of course not going to be a problem. I cannot remember ever losing this one. This one's just way too easy. Even in the harder variants later in the game. And this is a minigame that never becomes difficult. Unlike some others. <laughs> Can't wait for stage 6 and 7. I can already tell. <laughs> Hey, come on, not fair! <laughs> I still want the banana! <laughs> but don't worry, that one's also going to come down with us. Oh, that would be really nice though, if um, you fall out of the bonus barrel, the banana appearing up there, and you need to go back into the course in order to get it. <laughs> that would be very, very mean. <laughs> but I know there are going to be game developers who would think that is a good idea, <laughs> making something that tedious. But Rare was, of course, a bit nicer than that. There are already more than enough tedious things in this game, so... <laughs> Luckily, they actually limited that. Here we can actually find Diddy's Kusplat, so remember that as well. We've seen quite a lot of them already. <laughs> I'd actually like to finish off this episode while reaching the top. Hello. Ladder, come on. I think I need to go to the other way. 
Yeah. <laughs> you cannot climb these ladders uh, in both directions. <laughs> Would have been nice if that was uh, easier to see. Oh. Who put that hole there? Who put that singer there? <laughs> Time for me to stop this episode. I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> First ladder failure, then hole in the ground failure. <laughs> uh, don't want to go over there. The gate's going to be locked anyway during uh, daytime. And the stuff we can find there is not going to be for Donkey anyway. We want to go all the way to the top. There's nothing else for Donkey Kong to get. There's still a lot of banana bunches in this um, giant mushroom in the middle, but those we actually cannot grab yet. That's something I'm going to be doing next time, the moment we're down at the bottom again. First I'd like to activate banana port number 5 up here. As you can see it's going to be a very long walk to the top, so... <laughs> I want to make sure we don't have to make that walk if we don't have to with the other Kongs the moment they actually get their turn. But we have finally reached the top. And up here we can actually find ourselves a shortcut, luckily. <laughs> Banana port 5. And that is all that's here for Donkey Kong. Let's make our way down again and actually finish off this episode. Thank you all for watching the beginning of Fungi Forest. Donkey Kong is pretty much done. There's still uh, a handful of things we need to do. And then it's time for us to move on to Diddy. There's even a couple of rooms we have not been to yet. So there's still new stuff for us to actually discover in the next episode. See you folks in part 25. Shrieks out!